Basically calling black people and Hispanic people dumb, okay? White people mediocre and Asians rocket scientists. I'm Scotty Mills, the New York Kid Brick, and this is Scotty Mills Unfiltered, okay? This is where I get raw f you know, what the goddamn I see in America. You know, I was gonna get mad at something, and today, you know, I was gonna rant about student loans, okay? But you know what? I wanna rant about affirmative action, how race is a bunch of bullshit. But first, if you like it, like it. If you don't, don't like it. Comment if you love it. Comment if you hate it, and share it. And for the you never an arrogant prick, show all your friends, okay, and all your family how stupid and wrong I am. Or maybe you could wake up your stupid leftist aunt from a brainwashed bullshit while you eat culturally appropriated food thrown in the history of native casualties at Thanksgiving, man. Honestly, I can't wait for Thanksgiving. Maybe I'll do a history episode. Anyway, man, affirmative action, right? You know, what the is it, okay? Basically, it started back in the day in the 1960s, right? Around there. And, you know, it was basically to help black and brown people, you know, get the same rights and treatment as non-white motherfuckers. Or as white motherfuckers. I should say. My bad, my bad. But it was all about the same treatment, okay? Equality, right? They were pushing for that shit. And the truth of it, back in the day, man, we really did need some forced desegregation, forced acceptance, because not only were we racist as shit, we had to get it through the racist American skulls, okay, that everybody here has the same rights. We all breathe the same air of the stolen land. It's 2022, bro. Seriously, it's 2022. Like, I'm not saying that people out there aren't racist, okay? No, there are definitely racist people out there. But not every white dude is out there to get a brown person. And honestly, every white dude out there has the same opportunities as somebody who is black or not black. It doesn't matter if you're black, Hispanic, Asian, Middle Eastern, you go slobby, and here in America, you have the same goddamn rights. The same mother opportunities, seriously. Like, here in America, okay, yes, we did slaves, right? We had slaves, we had stolen land, okay? We did a lot of bad shit, especially to the Japanese during the internment camps, which was a Democrat, mind you. But the fact of the matter is, if you live in this country, okay, you're the same as everybody else. Nobody is special, okay? So why the are you putting race on censuses and college applications and job applications, you know, allowing them, or, or allowing somebody to benefit from their race. It's a bunch of bullshit. You know what they think? That non-white people are stupid. And that's not a conspiracy theory, man. Honestly, man. Race should not be on paper and shit like that. You know, all the shit going on with Harvard and Jackson up in the Supreme Court supporting this racist and discriminatory policy shows you that race is still a issue, but it's different than before, okay? We need to stop viewing race. Like, viewing culture is one thing. It's a beautiful thing of a melting pot of this sort of free country, but I'm tired of people saying that colorblind is bad, okay? It's not real. American equals American. Like, we got the same flag, we walk the same goddamn land, we breathe the same mother there. Like, just because your grandparents came from somewhere else other than mine don't mean we're not the same. Now race only matters, okay, for votes, okay, and shit like that. You know what? The left, they really want people under control. I guarantee you, I believe that shit, like, so hard. It's not even funny. If you look at everything that they've ever done to help minority communities, you will realize practically nothing helped get anybody back on their feet. And I would know about that because I grew up on welfare and everything they did was to keep you on the system, okay? The system is meant to fail the ignorant. Remember that, okay, man? Like, honestly, instead of focusing on equality, okay, which is what we're supposed to be doing, okay, they focus on reparations and equity. To me, equity means, like, if somebody's in a wheelchair, make a rant because they're actually disadvantaged beyond repair. No, man, they tell you that if you're black or some shit, you're oppressed and you actually have less rights and honestly, you're, you're like forever and honestly, that's racist as shit, man. But they use non-white people as pawns, bro. And if you feed into that shit, you're ignorant. And if you're white and you believe that, you know, righting wrongs by shelling out cash for reparations, that's also ignorant. And honestly, you're a piece of shit. Like Gavin Newsom, ass, okay, over there in California. But it's a fact that lower income schools, okay, they're primarily made up of black and Hispanic people. Can't debate that. That's a mother fact. But that's also what makes up most of these lower income communities, the ones that the left don't want to help. I'm not saying the right does either, man. I'm just saying, like, right now, everything the left does, okay, they're really pointing everything out to the fact that they're just racist pieces of shit. And you know what? Lower income communities, okay, lower income schools, okay, they have lower test scores. And you know, I was watching these two Hispanic people debate, one pro affirmative action, one against it, okay? <laughs> the one who was for it said that white people have more access to tutors and shit like that. Mind you, I grew up poor as shit. I, I had nothing. Like, this mother is mad, okay, that he couldn't go to goddamn Sylvan, okay? You're gonna sit there and tell me that the textbooks of the white kid next to you were not the same as that you were reading, and that your teachers did nothing to help you get extra study time. This dude got into Harvard, man. Like, something I couldn't do with a million tutors, but the example he put out there is just bullshit, okay? Why, if somebody has one thing that's wrong because you want it, like, bro, get the out of here. You got into Harvard, bro. Like, come on, man. You, you know, I had to join a Navy to get a goddamn degree, which I still don't have, but still. You have the same opportunity, okay, to pass that class, study, research, get a library card. I guarantee your mama could get you a goddamn library card. My mom couldn't afford me or to send me to, like, a Boston school trip once, and you know, I was pissed. I, I was really mad that everybody else got to do it. But when I realized that this is America and we have the opportunity to change that for the future, that really set my heart going. Yeah, people had more opportunities or privileges, if you really want to say, than me. But I didn't look at it like a negative factor, man. This is America. Everybody's family had a different route. You know, I got the opportunity to change that for my kids, okay? People want equal opportunity with the same goddamn outcome in every mother direction, but that ain't America, okay? America is about effort, hard work while utilizing the freedom to attain whatever you desire. Poor people become doctors every day. Like, I'm honestly sick of these excuses. You know what? Apparently, okay, uh, California, they banned affirmative action in like 1995 or 6 or some shit like that, and the freshman classes of black and Hispanic people, they dropped. And I really want to know why. Like, honestly, seriously, what happened? Because before, they had this extra 
fucking, you know, leg up, man, because they can get into school. And they didn't have to do as good as a white student to get in. Like, what the f so is it is it the schools failing people? Okay, is it, is it the schools telling people that like, oh, you don't have to try as hard because you get this low score and you're gonna get in? Like, bro, seriously, look at it. You know, they keep on throwing numbers around, okay? You know, certain schools say that if you're Asian, you get below a certain number, you won't be eligible, okay? But that number is higher than white people, whose number is then higher than black people. Like, that makes no sense. Basically calling black people and Hispanic people dumb, okay? White people mediocre and Asians rocket scientists. All they do, okay, is these, take these stereotypes and enforce them, okay? The left and the leftist media including movies and music okay think about how many movies you watch okay just a poor black kid like that, that's it that's all they are in a movie okay and how many songs you listen to okay that are just like shaking asses drugs and money like that bro they got everybody under control like wake the up america so instead of holding every kid accountable okay and tell them to study okay you know that's what it's about bro like study do what you need to do to pass everybody out there man i guarantee you so many people out there are smarter than my ass i promise you because i never study that's why i didn't get in any good schools They're taking your race into account okay they dumb you down by making you check a little box on an application okay you know instead of passing kids with shitty grades like they do in california or at least they're trying to do why don't they actually look at the schools okay are they shitty teachers if so fire them hold them accountable okay and the biggest question to me is are kids paying attention i know for a fact i did not now look man the, the conservatives okay they love to go on okay about the fact that lower income communities they have less of a dual parent household but they're blaming that for kids failing because you know people ran the fucking numbers okay taken by people which honestly i don't trust anybody but they came up with this conclusion okay that those who don't have two parents they honestly do worse now, why do some kids not have a dad okay it's a dad a dipshit is the mama a hoe you know i'm honestly man i just tell it how it is bro you know you go to a lower income community honestly man a lot of single parents a lot of bullshit going on but how do we incentivize kids okay who grew up in a single household okay to, to do good in school instead of watching video games or some shit like that you know i barely paid attention to school like i said man i got bad grades okay i had to join the navy to go to college which i still didn't finish yet but you know i'm held accountable for my action because that's the beauty of America, man. When you put in effort, okay, and you strive to be great, you will do great. But if you slack off, you end up like me with arthritis in both my knees, a busted nut, and accelerated wrinkles to the point people don't believe me that I'm 26. Or am I 27? Honestly, I lost count. But it's true, man. We gotta focus on these kids, bro, okay? And let these kids in shitty schools know that they gotta put in the effort, okay? We just get rid of affirmative action. I guarantee you, and base everything on merit, it will be way better, okay? Achievement, effort, hard work, and dedication. That is true equality. The better person wins, okay, man? I've known more black people who are smarter than me, and I've known more white people who are dumb than me, honestly. But you know what? So I really get confused about this whole race shit. I mean, like, you take two students from different races, okay? One does a better job. They should get into the school. That's the bottom line. Like, why should somebody else get some preferential treatment when we're not living in 1960 no more? We are living in goddamn 2022. You know, you could be a black woman on TV, make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, and then claim you're oppressed. Makes no sense. Now, mind you, this isn't the case for every school, okay? You know, private schools are hard to get into, so they, 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 they try to find ways to incentivize and diversify and inclusion, okay? But, bro, it's honestly reserving a couple of spots for black people is degrading and demeaning. Like, seriously. Basically, a charity stunt, okay? Pat the kid on the back so that way you can say you're not a racist. If you honestly treat somebody differently, good or bad, you are being a racist. Like, honestly, man, I'll knock a white dude out just as hard as I'll knock anybody else out. Harsh, I really could not give a less honestly serious shit have a simple solution okay you know what if you see this you know and tell your city official this okay because really easy one clean up the schools okay lower income schools they do get funded okay so use that funding for education like cut the football team okay have some study time incentivize teachers to create clubs so that way people can study and make these kids man take responsibility for the action seriously and hold teachers accountable man take the pedals out put them in jail tell them to teach a curriculum okay which i honestly believe most teachers should create their own okay and and do like sat study prep and shit like that honestly if the kids apply themselves they will get good grades and hold students accountable like i said man if they just slack off honestly they don't deserve to be in a taxpayer funded school okay don't pass a kid if they're not doing what the they need to do i don't give a shit this is the real world this ain't no goddamn movie teach them kids the hard way i learned the hard way look how i turned out probably not great but still taxpayer money goes to these public schools for a reason okay honestly man like shit and you know what lower the class sizes honestly it's been proven okay even me it's, it's easier for me to pay attention to a lower class size you know what the biggest thing to me okay something that the left will not talk about okay school choice you should not as a parent be forced to send your kid to a shitty goddamn school now i had the opportunity to go to different schools because the homeless shelters i was in they were in different areas so like technically i got to pick my own school a little bit and you know what i went to four different high schools man i saw so many different kinds of teachers so many different you know ways of teaching and honestly it was eye-opening but i had that opportunity i think everybody should have that chance to go to the school that they want to based on their needs and conservatives advocate for that okay the left doesn't and i honestly i don't know why because it will benefit lower income communities okay it's all about society control to them and bring back like ymca okay bring back community programs that get kids off the street okay you know i guarantee you, if you look at every affiliated gang member okay put them in jail is gonna help the kids out on the goddamn street because they're gonna be able to be able to turn okay to school and put their effort into that shit man i've seen so many 
kids go downhill because they were hanging around the wrong people. You know, that's a different topic, different day. But you know what? Gotta motivate these kids, okay? Don't tell them that if they score, you know what, lower than somebody, okay? All they gotta do is gotta get this one little tiny score, then they can go to college. No, bro, that's like unmotivating as like, honestly, that's basically the saying. You don't have to try your best, okay? And honestly, I do not believe in that, man. You gotta try your best to be the best. And you know what the whole point of this rant, if any of this made sense, is the fact that race has no place in America when it comes to opportunities, okay? Everybody has the same opportunities because we are supposed to be equal. You know, if you see this, okay, and you ain't white, and you think that it's wrong of me to say because black people are oppressed or whatever like that, man, tell that to the many black people who make 90 times more than me. Like, seriously. To the ones who fought for desegregation and integration and equality, but only to have failed because now we're segregating ourselves, bro, due to politics and media. This is self-segregation in America. You know what? This is America. Okay, this is my channel. This is my America. We're all supposed to have our own, and then collectively, we're supposed to be united America. And race on college application, okay, it's hurting, not helping, okay? Black people don't need a handout due to some d ridiculous, disgusting stereotypes embraced by the goddamn left. But you know what? That's all I fucking got. Honestly, man, this is it's just ridiculous. It's bullshit. I, I can't stand the fact that we in 2022 are still not collectively united it's it's the most disgusting thing in the world you know so many other countries okay you know what they, they really hold their kids and their students accountable for all of their shit no wonder why other countries have higher grades than us you know the whole common core bullshit too man honestly common core in in, in reality it sounds like a fun thing but in reality it's terrible because it's it's just a bunch of bullshit that's all i got okay man i just wanted to do a different video today and uh well i mean it doesn't really matter but you know what let's see what the i get mad about on friday <laughs>